welcome back to this week's training vlog so at the moment i would consider myself a weightlifter who does a little bit of jiu-jitsu once times a week as opposed to a person learning jiu-jitsu doing a little bit of weightlifting because as we know weightlifting goes with nothing weightlifting helps everything else but everything hurts weightlifting but weightlifting helps everything else so this session we were doing some full satches, we did some no contact clean and jerks and I'll get to the no contacts in a bit and some front squats so I've been kind of neglecting the front squats for a while. So at the moment my warm ups, I didn't get a lot of the warm up and I'll get those next week. So doing a lot of static stretching so the front rack for example gets very very tight uh, especially when you don't really use it so the positions and joints just kind of are stiff enough but it's not really positions you'd normally use or it's you know in any other sport or even in jiu-jitsu that kind of internal rotation gets a little bit tighter or the external rotation i should say uh your internal rotation gets a little bit more drastic but i uh, spend a lot of time just holding the barbell overhead uh, in the overhead squat position the front rack position longer static holds you know 45 50 seconds and some um, sitting in the bottom of the squat for something like maybe 50 or 60 seconds as well for a couple of sets just to really loosen things out so these the moment basically i'm only doing full snatch by itself uh, once a week for now so there's a lot of hang snatches no foot snatches and i will be doing some no contact snatches as well so the moment just trying to figure out the start position find something that feels comfortable what kind of dynamic slash it's kind of static start i'll be looking for where the weight is on my feet in the start position uh, all of it's pretty out of rhythm uh, positions aren't as finesse as they used to be but there is no stress with that that'll all come back so i'm just literally trying to figure out what feels comfortable what feels the best what leads on to the rest of the pull so i'm looking for a closer to a vertical chain angle in the start uh, typically one of the biggest problems i'd have in the snatch is my knees to be too far forward but you don't want to be too far back in your heels. You don't want your shins too vertical. Otherwise, you'll end up obviously too far back and off balance and you'll have to overcorrect. So I'm looking for a nice, even position. Some sessions during the week, it feels a lot better. On this particular session, it just felt slightly off and I was just trying to figure it out slowly. So obviously working up in quite small weights and small jumps, just going 10 kilos, you know, normally it'd be something like 50, 70, 100 and then work up from there to whatever's going up for when I'm in better shape. But as I'm getting back in the shape, the weights and jumps are smaller. And we're just practicing technique, making sure nothing hurts, making sure things feel nice. Main things here, probably that are not the best. The start position is okay. I think the second pull is short and I'm rushing it. And the contact it could be a lot smoother and a lot more well balanced. I'm not too concerned. I won't be massively correcting any technical issues as they will change a bit as i do more training and we'll see what kind of floats to the top as i do more training and see what kind of technical issues come up rather than massively changing things now but as i start training you know weightlifting five six times a week and upwards beyond that things will change by themselves and so rather than drastically changing things every session we'll try to take things as consistent as possible in terms of technique and then we'll see how it develops as my legs get stronger again my back gets stronger i do more lifts my timing comes back uh speed is fine on these i'm doing a lot of hang snatches maybe once a week the last few weeks so not a huge issue but you'll see as the weights get a little bit heavier i spent a good few sets at 70 kilos really trying to figure out what I was looking for. Uh, I just feel like I'm off balance slightly in the start position and as I move through the pull, the contact is slightly off. It's kind of a smashy and it's kind of drifting away as well. So more work needs to be done on that. But as I say, I won't be drastically changing anything. So just a couple of sets of 70, moved on to 80 kilos here. Uh, because it was feeling a little bit better by the end of the 70. So I said, let's see how it feels as it gets heavier. Uh, so the pull under is good so my timing underneath the barbell and pull under is good which i'm happy with as i've still been doing a lot of muscle snatches which was something i was able to do so it probably explains that but obviously the positions are not the best so here's 90 uh again you can see just second pull is rushed a little bit too smashy with the hips it's the the finesse isn't there but i felt pretty reasonable obviously it's pretty light to be received to be fair so i moved up to 100 kilos just for a single just to take it off for this week um and uh 
good pull on there, but just a lot of smash. You can see it's slightly off balance in the catch position because it's just a swing, but I'm aware of it and we'll work on it. Then moving on to basically Monday was the first time I'd done a clean and jerk in was it like three months. Um, then basically no clean and jerks since I injured my finger, which is fine. All the clean and jerks I'm doing at the moment will be no contact. One thing I did have an issue with maybe last year and before that was just a little bit too much tension in my arms in the second pull. So things I'm focusing on is in the no contact is obviously a finding nice positions again, but keeping my arms straighter for longer and it does feel better, keeps the timing quite good and it feels a lot stronger in the second and third pull. So it's something I'm going to be working on. The no contact position is because I want to work the timing. The contact is the least useful part of the clean. All the other parts are much more useful and much more important to work on. So I've just been hammering those and then the no contact work is very, very useful to be doing for the initial few weeks and the weights don't matter that much. And I'll slowly add it back in. So worked up to 90 kilos for two no contact cleans. Uh, positions are nice in the bottom, rack position is good, elbow speed is good, bottom position is good, knees feel good, everything feels nice. Uh, so turnover is good, speed is good. So this is a push press plus jerk. Uh, overhead position feels obviously slightly off as I haven't been holding a whole lot of weights overhead. But it's no big deal. Jerk time is coming back and nice and uh, feels a lot better lately. So obviously I've been avoiding front squats for the last few weeks as well. Nearly a month I suppose of avoiding them but... Unfortunately, they've got to come back. So I actually enjoy front squats when I'm in good condition, but nobody likes rebuilding front squats. So the elbow pain and the elbow achiness is uh, no bueno. So just worked up to literally 120 for a single on these. Uh, so obviously the weight's not heavy, but the positions are just slightly uncomfortable. So I just need to keep working on those. Uh, so the 100 is fine. Doesn't really matter too much of these. These aren't going to drive my leg strength. The back squat will drive my leg strength. So that's my primary concern at the moment for that. A uh, little peek at my brother there. So just 120 for a single. And feels massively uncomfortable. But obviously is perfect. Thanks for watching guys.